Hey friends, welcome and welcome back to Eating and Sipping Pretty with Cola. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe down below and make sure that that post notification bell is turned on all. That way you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video and give the video a thumbs up. You guys are going to be cooking with me today. Yes, you guys are cooking with me today. And by these ingredients that you see here, I don't know if you can guess or not, but... I am making gumbo. Yes, I am making gumbo. Um, gumbo is one of my all-time favorite, favorite, favorite dishes. Um, my mom is from Shreveport, Louisiana. And this dish particularly, um, we've made it for Christmas every single year that I can remember. Um, however, we did not make it um, this past Christmas Um 2022 um because people were sick and stuff so we just didn't make it um so i'm making it now and you guys are gonna make it with me so with nothing left ah why can't i never say that with nothing else left to be said let's get this thing okay, so cracking i have majority of my ingredients here here i have my my chicken um, I'm going to be using party wings, thighs, and breasts because I like to shred my breasts all throughout the gumbo. Um, here I have some Dungeness crab. For those people who are crab lovers, I know you know Dungeness is really hard to clean. You have to really scrape all that green hair and fuzz that be on there off and it takes forever to do that if you have a lot of crab. So I have these Dungeness crabs here. I usually like to use um, Dungeness um, snow crab and king crab but we're just going to be using dungeness today now when i make my gumbo i use more than one type of sausage always if i if i can't then i can't but i typically like to use at least two two to three um sometimes four different types of sausages so this time i'm going to be using well two of the sausages the same brand one is just mild and one is hot which is um in this bowl right here They've been in the freezer. Um, and then um, this one is, this one here is um, Evergood, the hot sausage, hot links. And then this one here is, I can't remember the name of it. It's from a local market that's close by my house here. Um, it's spicy and mild. And then we have um, the shrimp. These shrimp is from Costco. They're pretty big. And I have, you know, some of my seasonings here, um, my typical stuff. Um, I'll be using um, crushed red pepper as well. This is the crushed red pepper. I'll also be using, most importantly, I'll be using some gumbo filet. Okay, that's important when you're making gumbo. And I'll be also using some um, bay leaves. That is also important. I don't know. Everybody use different things when they make their gumbo. Um, paprika. Okay, paprika. And um, so I have my onion powder, garlic powder, my Creole seasoning, um, my gumbo filet. Um, I might use some, um, even though I have these crushed red chili flakes, I may use some... Um, cayenne pepper but i'm not sure because i do have i do have hot sausage in there as well so um we'll see so i'll have my fresh garlic here i have my fresh garlic and then i have all my stuff cut up like um the the holy trinity um that's what they call it which is um celery um onions and um bell peppers okay and I also use green onions in mines as well. Okay, I got green onions here. So, how I normally do it is, well, let me wash this um, vinegar off of this chicken. And then I'll show you. Because I, um, oh yeah, did I mention the okra? Gotta have okra. And the stewed tomatoes. Stewed tomatoes go in mines as well. Okay, so, I don't just boil my chicken. I don't do that. Um, I might take like the breast and just boil it um or a piece of it and boil it just like that you know so i can get the broth but um how my mom taught me how to do it is 
you have fry your chicken that not only uh, make the gumbo taste better it helps out with the roux now the roux is the main thing that you cannot i mean i repeat you cannot screw the roux up if you screw up the roux you have to start over from scratch do not put that roux into that mixture and make that gumbo because you will ruin it if you mess up the roux i repeat you have to start over from scratch now when we get to that part i'll show you um there is some shortcuts you can take that i've learned i might do it i might not do it we'll see but when it comes to my chicken i have fry my chicken first i season it flour it like i'm gonna fry fried chicken and i just let it get a little bit brown and then i pull it out and then i put it in a pot and let it finish cooking like that i do not um fry it all the way and i do not put it in there raw just like this nope not at all okay so let me rinse off the vinegar off the chicken and then we will set up for okay, um so i've cleaned the chicken for me to start it off now i'm just going to season it real quick Creole seasoning, garlic powder. Like I said, season it the same way you would if you were um, just frying this chicken for fried chicken or something like that, or baked chicken or whatever, right? I am powder. black pepper some paprika And I'm just going to put a very little bit of um, sea salt because the gumbo is going to have other things with sodium in it. So I don't need the extra. So just a very little bit. All right. And then we're just going to flip it. I'm going to flip it with my left hand so that I can be able to still touch the seasonings without cross contaminating. going to do the same thing same thing that we did to the other side to this side okay working with a little bit of space here If y'all hear noise in the background, that's my son watching his show. He loves him some Diana and Roma. Okay, that's that. Now, I'm just going to mix this all together. And okay, then so when I come back, I have my chicken. And it's flour bag. I'm about to start laying it in the oil. And remember, this chicken will not be cooked completely. It's only getting partially cooked because it's gonna go into the pot and it's gonna finish. It's gonna finish in there, boiling. Oh, the grease isn't that hot. Darn it! All right.
All right, so we're just gonna let this chicken cook half done. I'll show you what it looks like when it's half done. And we're just gonna finish, keep adding, keep adding. Like ready to put this it chicken on. is not done. It's only half fried. Um, so it'll finish cooking with all the other ingredients in the gumbo. I just wanted to let you guys know or let you guys see um, what it looks like. And then the next thing you'll see is. Okay, everything so being put this together is, i'm using a heavy duty pot it is this is the brand let me show you this is the brand name okay it's called all clad it's um a very um durable very heavy thick good pot that i'm using um I've already put water in the pot to try to get it started uh, boiling because this pot take a long time to start getting things going. Um, I've already showed you my chicken that's partially cooked. I'm just going to start adding some of that in here with the onions, bell pepper, and celery. And I also put, I'm going to put some chicken broth in there. But it's also going to make some broth as well from it, the chicken cooking. I'm going to add some garlic. Um, I'm going to show you all of that. What else? Um, and then I'm going to start working on my roux. I'm about to add some chicken broth. I'm going to add all of this chicken broth in here. I'm about to dump these onions in here. <coughs> Celery. Because I'm making my stock, basically. Um... bell pepper I'm gonna add more onion guys and um, I'm going to add some green onions now a lot of people make their roux and they put this stuff in their roux right you can do that too if you want sometimes I'll do that sometimes I don't um, but I put part of my um, onions and bell peppers and stuff in the pot and then I might put the rest in the room and then put it in there I just got to see how I feel and now I'm gonna add some garlic and then I'll start adding like the sausage and um, the chicken so right now and then I'm gonna work on my room I'm just cutting up um, some fresh garlic in here and it's gonna cook in here to help also make the broth that I'm making um, that the roux is going to go in. The order that I do mine in, people just do it the other way. They make the roux, then they add the broth, they yield some broth, and then they add it. But I'm just doing it this way. It's the same thing. It turns out the same way. Um, so yeah. I just want to let you guys know that yes, I want you guys to see me adding the garlic in here. Fresh garlic. And then I will add my um once this start boiling that's when i'm going to add like um the chicken and the sausage and then i'll work on my root and then add the root in here and then i'll let it cook and then um oh yeah before i add the roux before i add the roux i am going to add um the stewed tomatoes actually i could do that now let me just cut this and then i'll add the stewed tomatoes and 
everybody um, do theirs a little bit different. And it all pretty much come out the same way. So this is stewed tomato I'm about to add in there, right? Just two cans. And that's it. And we're gonna let this, as soon as this start boiling, then I'll start adding the sausage and the chicken. Okay, guys, okay. I'm about to, um, it hasn't started boiling yet, but, so these big old huge breasts, I'm going to put these in here so they can start boiling. The other meat that I'm using is, um, I told you guys I was using this, it's kind of a little bit dark. I told you guys I was using um, breast because I want to use the breast to shred up in it. Because once it gets um, pretty much done, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to shred it, right? So, I'm putting the breast in now because I want that flavor, I want the the flavor uh the chicken to be in to the cooked in with the all these onions and bell pepper garlic and celery um and like the party wings and stuff those are going to get added like the last 20 minutes of it because i don't want them to cook away like when you cook it overcook it the chicken start to disappear so that's gonna get put in there the last 20 minutes um because like i said i've, I've it's been it's been fried right it's not all the way done, and this is a thigh I'm going ahead and put in there, but it's majority done. So I'll put those in there and let this start cooking so it can get that flavor in. And then I'm going to start working on the brew. Um, what else? Actually, I am going to also add. We're gonna also add the um, sausage in. All the sausage, I'm gonna add that in now. So the sausage is gonna go in now. I don't want this to splash on me. Ooh. All right, the sausage is in. Let me add the other ones. All right. And I'm going to add some bay leaves. And then I usually go back and take the bay leaves out. And I never have a problem with finding them. Um, but I just want that flavor in there. So that's four, five, six, because they're small. Actually, you know what, let me put, uh, let me put seven. Seven, all right. Bay leaves in. So there's onion, celery, bell pepper, fresh garlic and green onions in this with those two big breasts and a few thighs. There's chicken broth in there as well. And um, I'm gonna work on the roux and then I'm gonna add the roux in there and then let everything cook together. The very last thing that's gonna go in there is gonna be um, the shrimp and the, cause it don't take long for shrimp to cook. The shrimp and the okra. Okra, I always put the okra in last. All right, so. Next thing you'll see me adding will be um all right guys I'm about the to roux. start working on my roux. I have some oil in the skillet right here. I'm just gonna add some flour in it, and with the roux, you have to constantly stir it because you can't burn it, you can't scorch it, you can't burn it. It has to be perfect, it's gotta be the perfect color. Um, that's just that on that. Real simple and plain. When it comes to the roux, if you mess up on it, you start over. That's it. You start over.
if you don't want your fire to be up too high um, depends on the size of the pot of gumbo that you're making if it's like a real big pot I would say do like not a cup of oil like maybe three-fourths cups of oil or whatever type of oil you choose to use and um, maybe a cup of flour so I'll put just the right amount in here I just got to keep stirring it um, to make sure it don't burn you'll see as it go along the complex the I'm sorry you see as it go along um, how the color change at a complex. Did I say complex? Yeah. Um. Yeah, so you just basically keep stirring, 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 stirring. Just like that. Just stir, stir, stir. Stir, stir, stir. And remember, I can't stress it enough, if it burns or gets scorched, throw it away, start over again. That's it. That's how that works. I've already taken out my, my breast out of the... So here's the breast right here. I'm going to shred these because they're going to go in after the roux. Um... While my roux is doing what it do, I'm going to, I've already put some crab in here off camera. I'm going to add the rest. Because I want that crab flavor to be cooked in. Um, that's why I don't look like it's that much here. Sorry, I added some. I want that crab flavor to be in here. So I'm gonna just keep stirring and stirring and stirring this and um, hopefully I don't have to make it over because I'm gonna come back once it's at the right um, color I don't know if you can tell but it's gotten a little bit it's gotten a little bit um, darker but So I'm going to just keep stirring until I get it to the color that I need it to be. And then I will add it into the gumbo. You guys have burned my finger. It's so pink it hurts. All right, so 
I'm going to continue to stir, stir, stir until I get it to the right color. This is not it. It needs to be darker than this. is the perfect color for me for my roux um, I'm about to turn this off and then add the rest of the chicken into the pot and the roux and I'm going to add some Lipton onion soup mix I've already added one pack I'm going to add another but this is the right color that I want my roux to be you don't want it too dark it can be darker than this it can stand to get a little bit darker than this though. I feel like this camera isn't doing it justice to show you the actual color because it looks darker in person. But this is um, the color. That's better. Let's see. This is a color I'm that I'm going to stop it at. Just going to drop them in. This also actually frying the chicken helps cut down on time for the cooking and it helps with the roux so if your roux is not thick enough because your chicken was floured and fried it will help thicken it and it makes it taste better than just um, using raw chicken all right that's in there So that's there, and now I'm going to add, um, I'm going to add the roux, and I have, I yielded some, well this is some oil and some um, broth, but I'm going to mix this in, the roux, I know you can probably hear it sizzling. See how thick that is. Um, before I put this roux in here, I'm going to add some gumbo fillet to that pot. I'm going to add some gumbo fillet to the pot. Yeah, I could have made the roux a little bit darker. I was trying not to burn it. So that's the roux. I'm going to add it in to the pot, but I'm going to first add some gumbo fillet in there. I'm gonna add the gumbo filet first. All right. So. My clothes is dirty, you guys, from cooking. Flour got on me and all kind of stuff. So, gumbo filet. All right, I'm gonna add that in there. And don't think that I'm adding a lot. I mean, I'm actually, um, this pot is big, so. I'm probably still going to, I'm probably going to have to put the rest of it in there. You know, I made gumbo so many times, I kind of, I know how much to put of what. Um, right now. I've made gumbo so many times because that's like my favorite thing to make and I try to master it. That's probably good enough right there. That should be enough. Now 
Now that I added the gumbo filet, I'm about to put the roux in there. It was time to wrap this thing up. That chicken that I just dropped in there, that's doing its thing. I'm about to add this roux in here. Little by little. I don't want it to be too thick. It's not supposed to be thick and it's not supposed to be thin. It's supposed to be in between. Gumbo is between a stew and a, and a soup. So basically it's like a stoop. Not a stew, but not a soup either, in between. So I'll just add a little bit at a time. Let it cook and see, because I don't want it to get, I don't want it to be um, too thick, as I said. Oh, let me add um, this other pack of lifted onion soup mix. I already had added one, but for this size, I'll add two. For now, that's all the um, roux that I'm putting in there. And so I'll see how it's going to be. Because if I put too much and then it's hecka thick, I'm going to be disappointed. And then I'll have to add broth, and then it'll be what? Like, it'll be super soupy and all of that. Next, I want to add um, this shredded chicken. I want to just throw that in there like this. Then the okra and then the shrimp. Hey guys, so this is what it looks like right now. I'm about to add the okra to it. in there let that cook and then um the shrimp is going to go in the last literally five minutes five ten minutes okay and we're doing good so we gotta let the okra cook and then um i might add the shrimp off camera but I okay might who knows i am about to add the shrimp into the gumbo. I should have taken out more shrimp than what I did, but this one have to be it's gonna have to do all right and that's the last thing i added some green onions to it um and the only thing left to do is just for this okra to cook and get done and then that will be it that'll be it that'll be all y'all that's it and that's all that's it and that's all Or let that okra cook. That's it. 
Next thing you'll see is and it here being is the final plated. results, you guys. Nice. This is my gumbo. Get into it. Get into it. Look at that crab, that shrimp and sausage. Mm. And there's plenty of chicken there somewhere. Doesn't that look spectacular? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you tell a friend so that friend can tell a friend and that friend can tell a friend. Why? Because sharing is caring. Positive vibes only, guys. Be blessed. Bye. <laughs>